Sir John Cootis has pinpointed a bombshell revelation that could topple Boris Johnson, as Partygate continues to rumble on. Speaking about Sue Gray's inquiry into Partygate, the veteran pollster claimed that potential incriminating pictures of Boris Johnson would likely be the final straw. He explained that the Partygate scandal gained traction in the public eye after a video of Allegra Stratton and other Downing Street staff joking about a Christmas party was leaked. Speaking about factors that could lead to Mr Johnson's resignation, Sir John told Express.co.uk, it will be the pictures that above all will matter. In particular, he suggested a picture of Boris Johnson doing karaoke, if such an image existed, would be the most damaging for the Prime Minister's reputation. This comes after several Downing Street officials received fixed penalty notices for attending a lockdown breaching karaoke party held in the Cabinet Office on June 18, 2020 to mark the departure of a private secretary. It's not clear whether or not the Prime Minister was in attendance at the party. When asked by Express.co.uk whether or not Mr Johnson's position as Prime Minister was safe, Sir John said, no, no, no. We understand that Sue Gray has pictures. And certainly the Committee on Standards will be able to get access to pictures. And we know the official photographer took pictures. This story took off when Allegra Stratton's video entered the public domain. It will be the pictures that above all will matter, if there are pictures of Boris Johnson. It was the pictures that got Keir Starmer in trouble. It's the pictures that matter, so what are the pictures out there? Speaking about the June 18, 2020, karaoke bash, Sir John said, isn't the official story that there was karaoke going on but Boris was working? If there is a picture of Boris doing karaoke, that's very very different. So this story has further to run. The Prime Minister has received numerous calls to resign from Tory MPs as further Partygate revelations have emerged. Questions over Boris Johnson's leadership have grown since it was revealed the Metropolitan Police had issued numerous fixed penalty notices as a result of parties in Downing Street during lockdown. Prominent Tory MPs, including Steve Baker, Mark Harper, and Defence Select Committee Chair Tobias Elwood, publicly called for the Prime Minister to step down in April. Just today, the total number of fines given out for Downing Street parties passed 100. The publication of Ms Gray's report into Partygate had to be delayed while Scotland Yard completes its own investigation.
The civil servant published a condensed version of the report in February but it is expected that the full version is likely to be more damning for those who were in attendance at the events.